Boy, how much do we love, love, love our former mayor? Will y'all give it up for Miss Hampshire? She is, uh, she is amazing. Are y'all fired up and ready to vote? Are y'all ready to flip Florida blue? Well, I tell you, it is indeed a pleasure to be with y'all this morning. Anybody went to church today? I, I guess I'm the, uh, I forgot to change y'all. So we're just bringing it all that we've got right out here because I was so anxious uh, to get over to you to say what's up to uh, let you know that I'm here to ask you for your vote. Uh, and to let the folks know here in Clay County that it is my hope, it is my prayer that the next time I see you, I'm going to greet you as the next governor of Florida. But we got a little work to do. We have a little work to do before we get this thing done. I wanted to really begin just sort of, uh, now that we know the faces and the names of those victims from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, who were going about their normal routine, no different than how they would, any of us would go about our normal routine. Uh, and unfortunately had their lives uh, mowed down uh, in a Jewish synagogue. Uh, no different than how those family members who were praying at Mother Emanuel Church, uh, you know, found themselves on that frightful day. Uh, no different than how those young students and coaches and teachers found themselves at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas or at Pulse nightclub. Uh, I hope that from this moment, all of us are just double checking our own selves, our own rhetoric, how we talk to each other, how we treat each other, that we can debate political and policy differences uh, without resulting to political violence. Um, I want to say unequivocally that violence has no place in our politics. In fact, it has no place in American society. And that every leader, regardless of their political stripes, have to go out of their ways, particularly in this moment, to make sure that we are doing everything that we can to, yes, to debate our differences on the issues, but that when it comes to inspiring and inciting violence that it has no place and we must decry it at every turn every turn make no room no breath no distance no uh, open space for that kind of hatred to take shape now listen i'm running for governor and i want to win this race as badly as anybody but it is my goal to inspire people in this race to go vote for something and not just to get something we got to give people a reason, an opportunity to go out and vote for paying teachers what they're worth for the work that they do. To get out and vote for our young people so that they too have a future, whether they're on their way to college or whether they're getting some of the skills that we used to teach them in our schools. Because like, like me and my own family, while college worked for me, for my older siblings, it was woodwork, shop, mechanical, electrical, right, right. technical programs, all of those kinds of programs where our young people get a, could get a skill, they could monetize that skill, go to work and get a job and earn a good wage. And you want to know something that, that that kind of economy still has to exist here in the state of Florida. And too many parts and too many places our communities have been left behind. Uh, we're all part of what has once been referred to as part of the forgotten coast. I don't know about, about your political memories, but I can't remember a time where a Democratic nominee finished the last nine days in a race right here in Clay County. Right? Let me tell you, we're here because Clay County matters to me. It matters to me. It matters to me how well your children are doing. It matters to me whether or not you have access to health care. Because too many people in too many parts of our state don't have access to health care. Because they don't have access, these folks are literally fearful of getting sick. Because if they get sick, they can't go to work. And if they can't go to work, they can't earn a wage. And if they cannot earn a wage, they can't pay their bills. And when they can't pay their bills, something gets cut off. We have to remember that we're here standing in the gap on behalf of those. Right? Those who want, those who have, but those who also want to achieve and aspire to more. That's always been the hallmark of the American way, that you can literally start from anywhere, from any side of the track. 
to discipline yourself to go to school as my grandmother used to say. Get your lesson. Work hard. Listen to your teachers. And one day bring that education home. I said it on TV because it's true. I, I said it there because uh, so many of us will never forget what our grandmothers have to say. Don't they have just these amazing nuggets of wisdom? And they always come about and into your mind right on time. Yeah. Right? When we talked about a hit dog hollering, I didn't know when I was a kid that I would one day find myself repeating <laughs> my grandmother's words in a debate, right? Yeah. My grandmother had a lot of jewels that uh, in the course of this...